Welcome to the Foxtrot tutorial to process sex acts data using the Foxtrot software. First, select the HPLC buffer Nexus file and apply the macro that is generated by your local contact. The macro will apply a mask to the data image and perform radial integration for all the images. The buffer curves appear on the left part of the screen. Select all the curves and look for the clever average HPLC buffer operation, which will select all the similar curves. Press OK. A new curve is then generated. This is the averaged HPLC buffer curve. If the column equilibration is correct, all of the curves must be selected. This can be checked by the presence of the CA symbol next to the curve names. Then, process the HPLC sample images using the same macro. Here, 600 unsubtracted sample curves have been generated. For all these curves, buffer subtraction has to be applied. Select the average HPLC buffer curve, look for the subtract operation, and define the selected HPLC buffer curve as the background. Then select all the unsubtracted sample curves and click on OK. All the 600 sample curves will then be generated. For better clarity, all the windows corresponding to the detector images will be suppressed. To show only the subtracted curves, select them and click on the eye with a triangle icon. A click and drag action on the graph will perform a zoom. Select one of the most intense curves by clicking on it. Here, the purple curve has been selected. The blue one would be suitable too. Click on the preview fit button to apply a Gounier fit on the selected curve. A pop-up window appears. First define arbitrary Qmin and Qmax values and click on Do Fit. The procedure is to find a correct Qmin and Qmax value for the Gounier fit. It is essential to look at the residual curve and the Qmax RG value which must be lower than 1.1. When the values are correct, just keep them in mind and press Cancel. Now select all of the subtracted curves and look for the clever average HPLC sample operation. Replace the min and max values with those that you found using the preview fit and uncheck the Auto Queue Range option. Then press OK. A table appears on the right, displaying all the parameters extracted from the Gounier fit for all the curves. Collapse all of the developed curve details in the tree view in order to see the new curve corresponding to the averaged subtracted sample curve, your completely processed sample Sachs curve. If you want to have a look at the I0 and RG elution profiles, select the All the Parameters button below the table, and then click on the Generate the Profiles button. The results are in the Fit Param Evol tab. If the scales of the axes are not correct, here for example the Y1 axis scale corresponding to the RG values is too wide. You can right click on the graph and change a lot of the parameters such as the scale in the chart properties. The graph shows the I0 elution profile in green and the RG profile in red by default. A click and drag action performs a zoom. Here for example, between the frames 335 and 350, the RG seems stable, meaning that the sample is monodisperse along this frame range. The clever average HPLC sampler algorithm has considered that the RG is stable between frames 338 and 359, 
and the corresponding curves were averaged to obtain the sample sax curve. A control and left click on the graph points gives some information about the parameters for the selected point. The last step is a backup of the processed curves and the SAC solution profiles. First, backup the RG and I0 table by selecting the parameters and click on the CSV icon. Select the proper path and file names. To save software memory, it's recommended to erase the RG and I0 data just after the backup. Then, you can save a snapshot of the Aleutian profile by right-clicking on the graph. And finally, to back up all of the sax curves, you need to select the averaged subtracted sample curve and all the subtracted curves. Click on the floppy disk icon. If the path is correct, choose an appropriate file name and click on save. The backup process will save the selected curves and also all the curves that have been generated to obtain the selected curves.